Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video I'm going to be doing another one of my monthly pet hauls. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you all every single thing that I bought for all eight of my guinea pigs and both of my rabbits in the entire month of July. If you guys are interested in seeing last month's monthly haul I will link it in the iCard up above and there will also be a link in the description to all of my monthly hauls as well as links to all the products that I will be showing you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it because I do not want to make this intro any longer than it all has to be. So I'm going to be showing you guys the most exciting stuff first and then leave the boring stuff like the pellets and the bedding and the hay for the end of the video. So first off, let's move the boring stuff out of the way. I have quite a few bath mats from Target. Sorry, I don't recall buying this size, but Target had a sale on their Chanel bath mats, which I love to use in my cages. And I think the smaller size is on sale for like five or so dollars. And the larger size is on sale for about $7. And I was just getting confused here because I don't remember ordering the larger size bath mat, but I have one here. So honestly, no complaints there. I think I still got the amount of bath mats that I needed. I just, for some reason, the tan ones are in the larger size. Maybe I misclicked when I ordered, who knows? But I have two of the larger size tan Target bath mats. And then I have one of the larger size yellow. Again, I swore I ordered the smaller size, but no complaints about the larger one. And then smaller of the yellow and another small yellow. This one is one that's only about 17 by 24 inches. And I honestly prefer the smaller ones. They're a lot easier to work with, with my cage dimensions, but no complaints about the larger ones because I don't think that I paid for these. I'll put the total price of all bath mats on the screen, but I got one, two, three, four, five, seven bath mats for very, very cheap. So I'm super excited about that. I have two small pink ones and okay eight bath mats i also have another tan one here let's see if it's small or large small so i don't know what's up with the small and the large i don't know if that was me or if that was them but honestly i got eight bath mats here for a very very good price and i love to use these instead of pee pads i find that they are super absorbing they cover a large area and they usually last two to three days in the cage depending on how messy that group of pigs is. So I bought a ton of bath mats from Target because they had that sale. And then I also bought a bunch of new toys this month. I'm trying to get back into buying new toys for my pigs. For the past few months, I've had a lot of vet bills and I haven't necessarily been able to focus as much on the more fun things for the pigs and the rabbits. So I tried to buy a lot of toys. The rabbits don't really care about toys at all. They only really care about hides and like food enrichment, like food motivation. So I didn't get anything, any toys for them, but I did get a bunch of toys for the pigs. So I got some stuff from the PetSmart full cheeks line. Typically I try to avoid pet stores because I don't really want to support pet stores that sell live animals and that keep live animals in poor conditions. So I usually try to avoid places like PetSmart and Petco. However, PetSmart has released their new full cheeks line and you can only find it at PetSmart. It's not sold online anywhere else. So I wanted to try it out because I've heard a lot of great things about their toys. So I stepped inside of the pet store for literally the first time in like four or five months to get these toys. So I have the Willow woven ball, which is a huge woven ball right here. And then I have a pack of the Willow twists and then a pack of the Timothy Hay hoops. I saw Austin from the pig room do a hack with these where he cuts the middle ring. That way it turns into three separate toys instead of just one. And because I have so many cages, I will definitely be doing that trick with this toy. And then because they were on sale, I actually also grabbed these Timothy Hay twists. So two of these twists right here. And then also something I was definitely not planning on buying at PetSmart is this carrier right here. So this is again, the Full Cheeks brand. So you can only find it at PetSmart. 
but I saw this carrier here and it literally looked like the perfect size for one guinea pig. And I have to take Stardust to the vet a lot to get her x-rays for her satin syndrome and everything. So I was tired of using one of the larger dog and cat carriers that I have that works for like two or three pigs. I wanted a carrier that was a perfect size for just one guinea pig. So I bought this right here. It's really nice. It is like a hard shell carrier and then it also opens from the top which is what I like because it's a lot easier to get the guinea pig out. So I've actually used this twice. I used it for Stardust and I used it when I brought my newest edition Rocket home and it worked great for both times. It fits one guinea pig very well. I would say you could maybe fit two smaller size females if they get along super well but honestly for more than one guinea pig I prepare ugh. I prefer like a dog or cat size carrier. And then a couple more toys here that I bought off of Chewy. We have the Enriched Life Twisty Rings, which I haven't gotten these in a while. And I'm realizing when I look around my cage, there will be like a singular twist left over. And so I didn't realize that how well they had gone through their last one. So I'm glad that I could finally get them another and then I got another Willow toy. This is a Willow cube. And then I also made an order from the Pig Room this month. The Pig Room launched his shop. Actually, I think it was at the very end of June. And so I placed an order from him and I actually showed it off and opened it in one of my previous vlogs. So I've already opened it, but I will go ahead and show you guys what I got because that will be included in like the total price for this month. So I got one of these pink swish tunnels. And then I also got one of the flower swish tunnels. And then because it's actually in the cage, I don't think you guys will be able for me to hold it for you, but I'll put photos on the screen. I also got two of the pink jumbo piggy bunk beds, and I also got a pink bath mat. But that is all the fun stuff that I got for the pest this month. Now let's move on to all of the basic necessities. So I also got for the pigs, their pellet food. This is the Oxbow Garden Select eight pound bag. It lasts me a month and I got it off of Chewy. And then I also decided to try the rabbit hole hay again this month. I don't know if you guys remember in my previous monthly haul, but I did give the rabbit hole hay a shot last month and I really, really liked it. It had a very soft texture, almost felt more like orchard grass than like Timothy but I ordered again this month and I must say it was not same at all. Not to say it was bad quality hay. It was perfectly good quality hay. I used it all, they ate it all, but it was very tough strands. So typically I prefer sort of a softer hay just for my own comfort, for the comfort of my pigs to burrow. And also because my shop back vacuums up the softer orchard grass easier. When I'm trying to clean and I have Timothy hay, it will clog my shop back so bad. And I thought this Timothy hay was going to be like soft like the last one that I got, but it was not. It was great hay, like it was good quality hay, but it was just very tough, long strands, which is really good for their teeth. And so I'm glad that I was able to give them a different texture of hay for some variety. However, due to how inconsistent it was from getting it the first time to getting it the second time, I don't think I will be ordering from Rabbit Hole Hay again, despite the fact that I ordered the exact same box, the cut looked completely different, but still really good quality overall. And then after I used that box up, I went ahead and ordered my usual 50 pound box of orchard grass hay from Oxbow. This is like my number one hay. I use it all the time. I find that the consistency of orchard grass is a lot better than Timothy. Like I said, soft texture, great for burrowing. Um, it also is hypoallergenic if you have hay allergies. I do not, but like I said, I just prefer it for other reasons. And then I also bought bedding. Again, I will just put some photos on the screen because I'm not going to lug my giant bags of bedding in here but I bought three bags of the Aspen Kiln Dried Shavings from Tractor Supply and then four bags of the Kiln Dried Pine Pellets from Tractor Supply as well. Aspen is for my guinea pigs litter boxes and the Pine Pellets are for my rabbits. And I think that wraps everything up. I feel like I have forgotten to mention something that I bought, but I'm not entirely sure. But I do want to go ahead and try out the toys that I got with my guinea pigs just so you guys can go ahead and see how they like them.
All right, and that brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my monthly hauls and more of my content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.